Hi guys, Nick here with BitGalactus bringing you a new video on 3D game development and today we're going to cover the topic of exporting our files from Blender into Unity 3D. So before we begin this process, there's actually a bit of setup that we need to go through with our models um, so that when we import it into Unity, we don't get randomness like this. Okay, that's exaggerated a little bit, but what will happen is you may find that your objects are rotated incorrectly when you import them. Um, and so the steps I'm gonna go through, make sure that this doesn't happen. Um, but let's go ahead and start into that. So the very first thing that we wanna do is you may have built a model that has several different individual pieces. And in this case, I have a truck. You can see it here and I have the four wheels. What I would typically do in a normal situation where there's a lot more pieces to it, it was I would join them all. In this case, I've only got a wheel, uh, four wheels and a truck, and normally I would actually wanna export the wheels individually so that I could use them as separate pieces on the truck. Just to demonstrate what we're doing though, I'm gonna go ahead and select all the wheels by pressing shift and clicking on each item, and then I'm gonna click on the truck last, and I'm gonna press control J, and that's gonna join them all together. So. What that's done is it's also named it after that first wheel that we selected. So I'm just gonna rename it back to truck and leave it there. So I'm not gonna to wanna to export these empty objects that I've created. These were just references that I was using earlier. So I'm gonna delete these out. Now you don't have to do this. You can just select the object you wanna export it and export it individually. So let's say that you have multiple items that you wanna export. Then you can go ahead and do that by just selecting them individually as you export them. But in this case, I've joined all our objects. We have a truck with uh, three different or four, five different objects we've joined together. So, okay. So you wanna make sure that you have the object you wanna export selected. If you have other objects in your scene, you wanna deselect them unless you wanna export them all together. But again, you might wanna make sure you join them first because when you have multiple objects in Unity, that's gonna take up more memory. It's better to join them first. So click on the object, go to file, go to export, and you're gonna to go to FBX. And then once you've clicked FBX, you will then see this menu pop up here. I'm gonna move it around so you see it. So I've got my pixtruck.fbx. So there's a few options that we wanna make sure we checked first. We're gonna say include here selected objects. In my case, I didn't have a camera selected or empty or lamp or armature. I did have a mesh. Um, but if you wanna make sure, just shift select all the things you do want. Like let's say you maybe have an armature but you don't wanna use it. Um, then just unselect it or click mesh. I'm just gonna pick mesh since that's all I really have. And I'm gonna leave everything else as is. On the transform, this is where it's actually really important that we get all these correct to make sure this is the correct uh, settings. You want to leave your scale at one unless you want to change the scale manually to something else for some particular reason. Um, you want to say apply scaling all local. Forward needs to be negative Z forward. Up needs to be Y up. Apply unit, leave it checked. And then lastly, experimental, apply transform, leave it checked. The rest of these I would leave as is. If you have an armature, make sure you catch. The only thing that um, you might want to double check on are these two checkboxes here. But since I don't have anything on this, I'm not going to change anything on that. Uh, and bake animation, I believe you do want to have it baked. So what we're going to do next is just click on export FBX. What you should see is this FBX file pop up here. Now we're gonna import that into Unity. Okay, here I am in Unity. I've set up a demonstration scene with a road and a skybox, and I have my assets open to where I want my vehicle to go into. So I'm gonna go ahead and find my exported FBX file. I've saved it in the same folder as my blend file. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and drag it in. And you can see there that our model appears, and you can view it in here. But here we have the materials that we created and the truck. Now, one other thing that we can do is import another folder for the emission. And I'll do that in just a second. But I wanna show you 
that since we went ahead and took all those steps in Blender when we exported it, we can drag this out and you can see here that it's facing forward correctly and it's not rotated incorrectly. So a couple of things that you might see is sometimes if you don't hit all those options that we checked earlier, that the truck may look like it's rotated up 90 degrees, or I should say like that in the preview. And another issue that I've seen or encountered when I forget one of the steps from the first part is that it'll actually be rotated 180 degrees backwards. But since we took all those steps in Blender, we don't ha have any of those problems. It's oriented correctly and the scale is correct. Um, on that first example where I showed you it was really, really tiny, that's actually what happened when I skipped one of the steps. It was tiny and it was rotated incorrectly. I did exaggerate, but it did have problems when I imported it because I skipped some of those earlier options. So let me go ahead and locate my emission material because I'm going to add that in and apply it to this object here. Okay, I went ahead and added these two materials here and are these two textures for the material I'm going to create. I'm going to create a new material and we're going to go to create material and for this first part we're actually going to call it, we're going to rename it truck and the albedo is going to be the truck here. Oops. So I'm going to drag this in and make that my albedo. I'm also going to have emission. I'm going to check that and I'm going to use this for the emission and drop it in there. So now if we take this material and apply it, you can see this is undoing. I did control Z. If I apply this new material with the emission, and I can also increase the intensity of the emission as well. If I drag this new material in, my lights light up on the back and the front. And that's because this here is my emission. I made everything else black because I don't want the tires or the sides or the windows to emit anything. I just want the lights to. So you can also adjust these things and change the emission. You don't necessarily have to do this in Blender. You're going to want to do it in Unity and just create a new material. So in reality, we could have not exported this material. We could have removed it um, and then created our own and added it later. So, okay. So before I end the video, I do want to go back and undo changing this Y to 180 and make that zero. I also wanted to add here that this material that I created for these planes or for the road, um, I did the same concept. The material here is actually a road, uh, just a standard shader with an albedo of this road. And then I took the actual, this, the tiled part of the road, it's, there's no emission there, but those stripes, the lines, they do have emission. So if you look at this, this shader here, you'll see an albedo of this and the emission is this. There's no emission on, on the road, so it's not emitting any light uh, on the pavement, but on the lines, it is emitting. Um, and it makes it stand out a little bit. Um, I think it's pretty cool. I'm gonna redo that and put my albedo back um, so that I have this kind of, you know, checkered looking road, um, and it still looks kind of pixelated, just for a neat effect. Um, in reality, you don't necessarily have to do this. What's cool is, once you start adding like post-processing, um, and you put bloom on here, this will kind of glow. It's, it's a pretty neat effect to add to that. I would experiment with that. If you want some, uh, an additional video to see how I, you could do that, um, I'll link to that uh, up in the top right. So anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, please hit the like button. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you next time.